Assalamu alaikum, everybody. So today we'll be discussing Staphylococcus versus Streptococcus. If you want to know the difference, keep watching. The Staph and Strep, they share one similarity, and that is they are gram-positive cocci. Staphylococcus occurs in clusters, or it forms clusters just like the one you can see in the picture, but the Streptococcus forms chains, as you can see in this picture. Staphylococcus resembles a bunch of grapes. Just like that. On the other hand, Streptococcus resembles the string of beets. Just like that. Staphylococcus is catalase positive while the Streptococcus is catalase negative. For those of you guys who are not familiar with catalase, let me tell you. Catalase is an enzyme released by certain bacteria and is not released by certain other bacteria. And in catalase test, what happens that bacteria responsible for releasing catalase converts the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. And oxygen is responsible for forming bubbles. So in case of Staphylococcus, there will be bubbles. But in case of Streptococcus, there will be no bubbles. One of the species of Staphylococcus is coagulase positive, and that is Staph aureus. Not the remaining two, but the Streptococcus is coagulase negative. Let's talk about their classification. Staphylococcus is further classified into three different species. The first one is Staph aureus, the second one is Staph epidermidis, and the third one is Staph saprophyticus. I've got detailed videos on all the three Staph, find the links in the description. On the other hand, Strep bacteria are further classified based on serology, the last field classification, also on the basis of hemolysis and biochemistry. On the basis of hemolysis, strep bacteria are further classified into alpha hemolytic, beta, and gamma hemolytic bacteria. Alpha hemolytic bacteria is subdivided on the basis of optogen sensitivity into strep pneumonia and variants. The beta hemolytic bacteria are further classified based on basitracin sensitivity into group A, the strep pyogenes, and group B, strep agalactiae. And gamma hemolytic bacteria are subdivided on the basis of growth in 6.5% salt solution. If a bacterium grows in that solution, it is enterococci, which is further classified into enterococcus faecalis and enterococcus faecium. And if bacterium does not grow in 6.5% salt solution, it is non-enterococci, the strap gallolyticus, which is formerly called strapped boas. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.